All right. Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? Today, we're going on a little bit of an adventure. It's the first like proper snow here in Nome, and so we decided uh, we're gonna get outside. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna, we, we recently did a video where we went and we prospected at Dredge 5, but uh, we're gonna do a different type of prospecting today. That's right, and we'll, so today we're gonna go to um, the location of one of the richest gold discoveries in the Nome Gold Rush in the late 1800s, which is Dexter Creek. Yeah, so there were three creeks that produced the most gold up here in that initial rush. You know, the, the famous one where the three lucky Swedes found all the gold in Anvil Creek. So Anvil Creek was the richest. The second is Glacier Creek. And the third is Dexter Creek, where we're going today. That's right. And they're all kind of like located in the same area. So you have Anvil Mountain, which is just north of Nunn. Anvil Creek kind of runs along the west of it. Um, Glacier Creek's a little bit northwest of that. Uh, but Dexter Creek, where we're going today, runs northeast of Anvil Mountain. It runs down into the Nome River. And so that, that area was just really rich. It was hit so hard in 1900 that in 1901, 1902, it was almost abandoned because like it wasn't paying anymore. Yeah. Until they dug out this thing called the Miocene Ditch and got cheaper <laughs> water there because they had to pay like $2.50 a barrel. Crazy. Anyway, that yeah. first year in 1900 on Dexter Creek, they found uh, almost 15,000 ounces of gold. Unfortunately, it was like 20 bucks an ounce back then only. Man, Imagine if I could go those. back in time. <laughs> that would be the best gold mining. I'm like, I'll pay you 40 an ounce. They're like, great. <laughs> it's like, take it back in the future. So yeah. I think we should be able to find some uh, some gold. Apparently that high bench between Dexter and Anvil Creek is, is pretty rich. It's like 500 feet. That's the location of AKAU Gold Camp. So we're not going to yeah, we, we like Augie. We're not gonna bother bother him up there. Yeah. He's got a he's got a great gold cam. Great dude. Yeah. Um, also, side note, if you're wondering what the squeaking is, um, it's our puppy and her toy. <laughs> she's uh, she she hasn't been in the snow since she's been born, so it's gonna be an exciting day for her. We'll go and uh, take a pan and a shovel to the creek, just like the uh, old timers used to, and see if we can find some gold. Hey, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you wanna buy some gold mined by my team on the Eroica, go to BeringCPater.com. Thanks. It's October 3rd. It's October 3rd. It's starting to become a winter wonderland of Nome here. It sure happens early in Nome, Alaska. sheltered from southern fronts at our new place. We have no idea it was this bad. Oh man, the ocean is just boiling. How motivated are you to uh, dredge more this season after snow and this? Because I, I, Nome's been under construction all summer. Uh, this like, uh, the center of town has been ripped up and now we get this nice fancy paved road. Whoa, see, we're passing Dexter Creek right now. You can see like there's mounds and mounds of tailing piles where it's been mined in the past and these rocks are just the leftovers. So we got the road up here and then down here this is Dexter Creek and this is Gulch. So we're gonna have to get down there somehow. We'll have to get our hike on. It's a beautiful snowstormy day. We see like a looks like an old mining contraption down there. So we're gonna start there. Oh, she's like a little fox. She's into it. So what was this thing? Uh, no, I don't really know. Okay, go inspect it a little more. It looks like a probably a recovery system of some kind. Yeah, it's some, some sluice system, sluicing system for the stream. Alright, so everything's pretty much frozen around here, but underneath this mysterious gold capturing some kind of a sluice box contraption. And uh, I'm not feeling super confident, but I thought it'd be fun to take a sample from underneath it. That's the only ugh, place where the dirt thawed out even. We were hoping that these gold miners, whoever they were, were kind of sloppy and they, they smelled some gold. Hmm. Let's see what that's all about. Hmm? We still need to uh, find the screen. So we can pan this and also like sample around the stream itself. Alright. I don't 
there's any gold, it'll we'll find it. Yeah, there's any gold, we'll find it. Alright, well we're just standing on these big tailings piles. You can see there's big chunks of rock. Um, they're just all over. Yeah, they mined a lot of, uh, they mined a lot of gold in here. They mined a lot of dirt, but they left their tailings piles behind them. I'm pretty sure that whatever water is here is like running underneath us. Um, so we gotta find a, find a water source in order to have a chance of getting any like kind of pay dirt. Yeah, so I think we should just take some pans and just go bring it to water source. I'm suggested we go up into this kind of gorge here a little bit and we'll go dig out some uh, gravel. Eh? in the other spot so we're just gonna walk around get to the uh, creek, creek up there and uh, run a little run some tests there go. This looks, some gravel yeah. let's test this out a little bit yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll pan these and then we'll run some tests here I feel like such an old timer right now hey you look like it Kneeling by the stream, just to pan some concentrates for gold. So this is pan number one. This was up by that kind of like tributary to uh, Dexter Creek. Yeah, this is pan number one. It's uh, got quite a lot of concentrates, quite a lot of uh, big rocks in it. So it's a pretty big sample. A bit bigger than what I would normally want to work with, but I just kind of wanted to take as much as possible so you could get like a an assessment of what's what's there. That's a nice piece of quartz in there. Yeah, yeah, there's a nice piece of quartz. Yeah, there's certainly heavy heavy minerals present in this sample. You just find a big old nugget. How awesome would that be? Oh, that'd be great. That wouldn't make the video. No. Yeah, we'd be like, what? No. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there's a little, there's a couple of specks of gold. Huh. Wow. Unbelievably, there is a little bit of, just a couple of specks of gold. Gosh, you really do find gold everywhere in Nome, Alaska. There. Yeah, there's a little speck right there. Yeah. There's a few. It's not much, but for a little sample that we took right off of the surface of the creek, it, there's a couple of specks of gold. Sweet. Huh. Alright, let's try pan to pan one. number pan number one. Couple specks of gold. So this is pan number two. Pretty dubious about this one. Why is that? So, uh, I just yeah, I took this I went underneath that weird gold mining contraption and took a sample of the dirt underneath it. It's a total and complete long shot, but hey. It's just like some weird uh it's like clay and dust. Almost. Yeah, it's like this dusty weird clay really hard to pan it actually. It's like clumping. It's like clumping together. I don't know if we're gonna find anything here. That was a total long shot. Oh, there's a speck. Yeah, I'm seeing some specks of gold. Oh, more than I was ex expecting. Just here. Once again, proving that there's this gold everywhere in Nome. Pan number two. That was like one speck. Pen number two is two specks. Two specks of gold. So those are these pretty nice, these pretty nice uh, gravel bars here. Pan this for size. All right, pan number three. Right, pan the number lower three. part of Dexter Creek, in the actual creek. In the actual Dexter, Dexter Creek.
No, don't see anything at all. Nothing, huh? Nothing in Mexico Creek. So it looks like uh, higher up is better. Yeah, I mean, gosh, who knows? I mean, you know, you'd have to take a lot of samples to really get a good idea, but higher up seems to be the better call. If you want to find guaranteed gold from the comfort and warmth of your living room, buy some pay dirt from us, BearingSeaPayDirt.com. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.